Hi loves, it's Lacey and welcome back to our space. So today in our space, I am participating in a collab video that is being hosted by the lovely Christy Mal over at her channel, which is Christy Mal. And what this collab is, is she's asked us to get together and do a fall DIY. Now there were no instructions on what kind of DIY you had to do. It just had to be fall related. So I will link Christy's channel down below along with the playlist of all the other participants in this collab once she has it available and we for my DIY are going to be making a fall wreath. Now I know a lot of people make fall wreaths for DIYs all the time but I think I'm going to try to do mine and make it a little bit different. So I was going to try to make a wreath out of some corn husks but unfortunately corn husks to purchase are not like in season yet. We still have a little ways to go. I've been to a couple of different farmers markets and out to an actual farm and they said that they have not pulled the corn husk for that yet. So I recently hauled some wheat from the home goods store and it's like a green tinted wheat and I also have more wheat that you will probably be seeing in a haul after this video that I got from Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to use that to make my wreath, but it's not going to be the typical, or at least I'm hoping it's not going to be the typical wheat wreath that you see that's circular and all the wheat is bunched together. So if you want to see exactly what I do for this DIY, it'll be easy to and fairly cheap then just keep watching. So here are some of the items that I'm going to use for this wreath. I have the green tinted wheat, the wheat from Hobby Lobby that I have picked up that has the long, um, darker colored wheat stems on it and the natural wheat. I have uh, some kind of variegated orangey hydrangea and uh, some reddish cattails. I also have some ribbon over there, some burlap ribbon that I got on clearance and some ribbon that's got a little gold in it. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that, but it's kind of fall-like. Your hot glue gun, some glue sticks. I also have some Dollar Tree ribbon, a pair of scissors, reform, and then that black thing there is a piece of foam board from the Dollar Tree. I'm also going to be utilizing some command strips to hang this up, I do believe. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our reef form here and we're going to lay it down on this extra piece of um, foam board that I have and trace it out so then we can have a backing to this reef so we have something to hang it by. my various different types of wheat and I'm going to flip them down to the size that I like and then just insert them in to the reform all the way around. So I started with the ones with the dark on the ends and now I'm going to move on to putting some green ones in. happy with what the perimeter looks like you can take then some shorter pieces and start filling them in around the base. Okay so here's my reef as it stands right now. It is pretty full. I like how full it is. I put some of the wheat up a little higher. I am going to fill in around the edge with some lower wheat. I still have some left but now I'm going to move on to adding in our cattails and they came on a stem and I clipped them off. I did use some wire cutters. You can clip them off with scissors, but if you have wire cutters, they would be nice to use. I also left the grassy part on some of them and then others came with a leaf on them. I'm gonna take the leaves off of that because I don't think that goes well and use it just with the stem. So I'm gonna fill these in and then we're going to, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with the middle. Okay. 
Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. And so now I'm going to take the leaves off of uh, the uh, hydrangea bushes and I'm going to insert them around the edge as well. Okay, love, so here is my final project. I love how it turned out. I think it's a very fall-like, very festive. Now, I didn't use all of the wheat. I have a great deal of green left and a little bit of the natural. I did use all of the ones that have the extra dark portion at the tips and I think that really made for uh, this reef. Now the hydrangeas I took one and stuck it inside of the middle and then cut the other ones up. I don't know if you saw that on camera but I love how it turned out and I am very excited to put this outdoors on my front porch for fall. So I want to thank Christy for including me in this collab. It was so much fun to do. I think I am going to embellish it just a little bit more. I didn't put a ribbon on it and I don't think it needs one. Like I said before, I will link her channel down below along with the playlist of all the other participants once she has it available. I want to thank you guys for watching, for liking, for sharing my videos and please hit the subscribe button if you're not a member of Lacey Space because we have a lot of fun here. Also, you can follow me on Instagram. It is is Lacey Space the same way that it is spelled here and I will catch you in our next video. Bye loves!